Alright, I have a second game to show you. It's, it's pretty cool. I move my pawn up. He moves his pawn. I move my pawn. He does... What was that? Okay. He tries to pin trap me or something, but I can do that. Especially because my knight being here. Knight would take... Uh, where's the button? Here it is. So he moves his bishop back. I move my bishop out, developing it. He moves his knight out. I move my pawn out to try to get my other bishop out. I get my other bishop out. He moves a pawn, which doesn't really do much. I could have gone into there with my bishop. I think he was trying to trap me somehow with it. I don't, like, that was perfect value for my bishop, honestly. And then he would have had to sacrifice his queen or bishop. I think that's what he was trying to do, but I just didn't play him. I was hoping he didn't see my bishop, that's why he did that, so I moved my other bishop out. He moved his other bishop out. He was trying to get uh that into there, but I instead moved my pawn up. I got a pretty good trap in here after a while. Um, so yeah, he took everything of mine after a certain amount of time, you know. Pinning my queen, so I had to move my queen away. Took his bishop with my knight. Took his pawn. He moved his queen. So this is the trap I made. I have his pawn up here. And if he takes either one, I could take. I was hoping he would see the pawn like right here. And assume that that was the trap. And then not, he was trying to do that. But no, he saw the other thing. So I took with my knight because I noticed my queen was there. Moved my other knight down. Boom. He castled for some reason. My queen's still supporting. I move my pawn there, so we're basically in the same situation. Move my king up. Now, I realize I could have took in the rook, so I do. He moved his rook. I do this. He moved his queen. He does this. Now, he moves his queen down to there again. Try to move it up. He moves his queen away. I move my rook over here, trying to pin him. I don't know what I was trying to do. I thought he would move his piece away. He did that. So I took, and then he took, and then... Yeah, uh, it wasn't a good trade at all, but, you know, gotta do what you gotta do. So I started making my merry way. Then I forgot about the other pawns, and then I had to move my king a few times, and then I lost my pawns, so I just took his pawns. And then tie. Which, you can't win with a king and a knight. Well, no, you can get a draw if if you have your king here. He has his king here, and I have your and you have your no, because that's where the king would have to be. If you have your knight, no, there's nowhere you can go. No, nope, you can't. You can't do it. It's a draw, like the bot said. So you know, is that.